Hello, this is Ian here from CVG and this is a video run through of our complete scanning guide for Mass Effect 3. This is the Athen cluster which has a total of four systems in it. The first system is Satu Ard which on the planet Nalisin has a war asset, the Volus engineering team for 50 asset points and a wreckage with 200 units of fuel. Uh, the second system, Esori, has on the planet Solu Paolis a, a war asset, the Volus Dreadnought Kuunu, which is worth 50 asset points and wreckage for 300 units of fuel. Uh, in the third system, Aru, on the planet Chirk Sab, there's a war asset, the Volus Fabrication Units for 45 asset points, uh, 200 units of fuel in the wreckage, and then on the planet Irune, there is an artifact, the Book of Plenix, which if you take it to the Angry Accountant in Presidium Commons, uh, which is back on the Citadel, you get a war asset, uh, updated Citadel Defence Force for an extra 40 asset points and 15,000 credits. Uh, the final system is Nura. On the planet Omakur, there is uh, an intel item, the Volus Intelligence Archives. And if you take that to Liara's cabin back on the Normandy, you can choose between uh, power damage plus 5% or health plus 5% bonus. And there's also a wreckage for 250 units of fuel. This is the Apian Crest with three planet systems in total. Uh, the first one is Castellus. Uh, on the planet Digeris there is an artifact, the Banner of the First Regiment, which if you take it to the officer in the Purgatory Bar uh, back on uh, Citadel that will give you a war asset, the Alliance Seventh Fleet for 40 uh, asset points and 15,000 credits and there is also a wreckage for 350 units of fuel. The second system is Gem A. Uh, there is a wreckage for 750 units of fuel. On the planet Firos, there is a war asset, the Turian 79th Flotilla, for 40 asset points. And there is another wreckage for 800 units of fuel. The third system, Trebia, has no items to be scanned, so you don't need to do anything there. This is the Arcturus Stream, uh, which has two systems. The first is the Arcturus system, which has a wreckage for 350 units of fuel. And on the Arcturus station, there is an intel item, intel from the Battle of Arcturus, which if you take it back to Liara's cabin on the Normandy, you can use on the intel terminal to get a weapon damage plus 5% or shields plus 5% bonus. The second system, Eula, there is one item in there, a wreckage for 100 units of fuel. This is Argos Row, uh, containing three planet systems. The first is Phoenix. On the planet Inte Se, there is an artifact which is a fossilized cacliosaur, which if you take it to the war strategists in Presidium Commons back on uh, Citadel, you'll get a war asset of uh, updated Krogan clans for an additional 40 asset points and 15,000 credits. There is a wreckage for 450 units of fuel and on the Pinnacle Station there is another war asset, the Turian Spec Ops team for 40 asset points. The second system is Gorgon and on the planet Cameron there is a war asset of advanced power relays for 50 asset points. And on the third and final system, Hydra, there is on the planet Canrum a war asset of haptic optics array for 50 asset points and wreckage containing 270 units of fuel. This is the Athena Nebula which is a large cluster containing five planet systems. The 
First is Tomaros, which has a wreckage of 200 units of fuel, and on the planet Pronoia, there is a war asset, the Asari cruiser Nefrain, which is 30 asset points. The second system, Orisoni, has on the planet Egalic a war asset, uh, Asari research ships for 35 asset points, and wreckage containing 350 units of fuel. On the third system, Parnitha, there is on the planet Tevura a war asset, uh, the Asari cruiser Saibane, for 30 asset points. The fourth system, Ayalesa, has on the planet Tricolon a war asset of Asari engineers for 30 asset points and wreckage containing 500 units of fuel. And on the final system, Vernio, there is on the planet Polissa uh, an artifact, the Hesperia period statue, which if you take it to the scientist in Presidium Commons back on the Citadel, you get a war asset of updated Alliance Engineering Corps, an additional 40 asset points and 15,000 credits, and there's also a wreckage containing 400 units of fuel. This is the Attican Beta, which contains two planet systems. The first is Theseus, and on the planet Firos is a war asset, the Exogeny Scientists, for 40 asset points and wreckage of 240 units of fuel. In the second system, Hercules, uh, you'll find on the planet Elatania a war asset of interferometric array for 45 asset points and wreckage containing 370 units of fuel. This is the Exodus cluster which has two planet systems. Uh, the first Utopia on the planet Zion is a war asset, the Prothean data files for 75 asset points and the uh, wreckage containing 200 units of fuel. The second system, Asgard, there is a planet tier uh, with the war asset Alliance Naval Exploration Flotilla for 75 points, uh, wreckage of 250 units of fuel. On the planet Bor, there is an intel item, the remains of a Reaper destroyer. If you take this back to uh, the intel terminal in Liara's cabin back on the Normandy, you can get a store discount bonus of 5% or power recharge speed 5%. On Terra Nova, the next planet, there's a war asset for the Alliance Cruiser Shanghai, 40 points. And on the planet Loki, there is a war asset, the Alliance Spec Ops Team Delta, for 35 asset points. This is Gemini Sigma with two planet systems. On the first one, Han. On the planet Mavigon is a salvage item, 10,000 credits to be recovered, and there's also a wreckage of 470 units of fuel. On the second system, Ming, on the planet Parag is a war asset, the Alliance cruiser Nairobi, which updates the Alliance third fleet by 25 asset points, and there is also a wreckage containing 320 units of fuel. This is the Hades Gamma, which is a large cluster containing five planet systems. Uh, on the first one, Dis, on the planet Clensol, is a salvage item for 10,000 credits and wreckage containing 200 units of fuel. In the second system, Plutus, on the planet Nonuel, is a war asset, Special Ops Team Zeta and the 103rd Marine Division which gives you a total of 70 asset points. In the third system, Anteus, and the planet Trebin is another salvage item for 10,000 credits, and the wreckage for 300 units of fuel. In the fourth system, Farinata is a wreckage containing 200 units of fuel, and on the planet Juntauma, there is a war asset, the Alliance frigate Agincourt, and the Alliance First Fleet, which is a total of 105 asset points. And the fifth and final system, Kakus, 
there is the wreckage of 400 units of fuel and on the planet Chohi there is uh, yet another salvage item for 10,000 credits. This is the Hades Nexus which contains four planet systems. Uh, in the first one, Sheol, on the planet uh, Jihenom is the artifact of Prothean Sphere uh, which if you take it to the refugee in the docks holding area back on the citadel you get uh, a war asset of updated Alliance Engineering Corps for an additional 40 asset points and 15,000 credits. The second system, Pamyat, on the planet Dobrovolsky there is the Alliance frigate Leipzig and the Alliance First Fleet is updated by that for 15 asset points and there is wreckage containing 100 units of fuel. The third system, Hecate, on the planet Asteria there is the Alliance frigate Hong Kong which updates the Alliance Fifth Fleet by another 15 asset points and there is also wreckage of 380 units of fuel and in the final system, Hoplos, there is wreckage of 250 units of fuel. And on the planet Copis, there is an artifact, the Obelisk of Kaza, which if you take to uh, the researcher in Presidium Commons, uh, again back on the Citadel, you get the war asset, uh, updated Alliance Engineering Corps, for an additional 40 asset points and 15,000 credits. This is the Hourglass Nebula, which contains four planet systems. In the first one, Ploitari, on the planet Zenithu, there is war asset, the Terminus Freighters, for 30 asset points. In the second uh, system, Sowilo, there is wreckage of 200 units of fuel. And on the planet Hagalaz, there is a war asset, the Shadow Broker Support Team, for 40 asset points. In the third system, Osun, there is wreckage of 100 units of fuel and on the planet Arinli there is a salvage out item for 10,000 credits. And lastly, on the, in the system Fayar, there is a wreckage of 600 units of fuel and on the planet Alingan there is a war asset, the Shadow Broker Starship Tech for 50 asset points. This is the Ismar Frontier, which contains a single system, Aquila, uh, and on the planet Metaponto there is an intel item of advanced biotic implants, which if you take back to the uh, Normandy and go to the intel research station uh, in Liara's cabin, you can get a power damage plus 5% or a power recharge speed plus 5% bonus. This is the Kite's Nest, which contains two planet systems. Uh, in Harsha, on the planet Karshan, is the artifact, the Pillars of Strength, which if you take to the uh, Preacher in the Docks holding area back on the Citadel, you get a war asset, the Batarian Fleet, for 40 asset points and 15,000 credits. There is a wreckage containing 300 units of fuel, and on the planet Varush, there is an intel item, the weapon upgrade kit, which if you take to the intel terminal in Liara's cabin back on the Normandy, you can exchange for an ammo capacity plus 5% or a weapon damage plus 5% bonus. The second system is Untrail, where there is a wreckage of 100 units of fuel and on the planet Adek there is a salvage item for 10,000 credits. This is the Krogan DMZ, which has two planet systems. In uh, Nith, you will find uh, wreckage containing 300 units of fuel, and in the other system, Aralak, there are no items to scan, so you don't need to search that area at all. This is the Minos Wasteland, which contains the Fortis system where you'll find on the planet Pietas a salvage item for 10,000 credits and also a wreckage which contains 200 units of fuel.
This is the Nimbus cluster, which has four planet systems. In the first one, Ageo. On the planet Carcosa, you will find an artifact, the Library of Asher, which if you take to the military trainer in the Purgatory Bar in the Citadel, you get a war asset of the updated Asari 6th Fleet for an additional 40 asset points and 15,000 credits. In the second system, Pelion, there is a wreckage for 750 units of fuel. Uh, on the planet Trategos, there is an intel item of an intact Reaper weapon, which if you take to the intel station in Diara's cabin back on the Normandy, you get a weapon damage plus 5% or ammo capacity plus 5% bonus from that. There is uh, a second wreckage of 750 units of fuel and another wreckage containing 650 units of fuel. In the third system, Kalini, there is a wreckage of 300 units of fuel and the final system, Messana, there are no items to scan in that section at all. This is the Nubian Expanse, which contains three planet systems. Uh, in the first, Dakar, on the planet Pragia, there is an intel item research data from Pragia, which if you take it back to the intel terminal in Liara's cabin on the Normandy, you can exchange for a power recharge speed plus 5% or a power damage plus 5% bonus. There is a wreckage containing 350 units of fuel. In the second system, Kalabsha, on the planet Yam, there is a war asset, the Alliance Marine Recon Unit, which updates the 103rd Marine Division by 25 asset points, and there is a wreckage containing 300 units of fuel. And in the third system, Kurtasa, there is on the planet Norisa, the Alliance Frigate Trafalgar, which updates the Alliance 3rd Fleet by 15 asset points and also wreckage of 50 units of fuel. This is Sigurd's Cradle, which has two planet systems. The first is Skepsis. On the planet Watson, you'll find a war asset, the Javelin missile launchers for 50 asset points and wreckage containing 200 units of fuel and in the second system, Decoris, there is a wreckage for 350 units of fuel and on the planet Leina, you can, there's a salvage item for 10,000 credits. This is the Cilian Nebula, which is a large cluster with five planet systems in total, uh, lots to collect here. The first system is Loropi, uh, on the planet Yasilium, there is a war asset, the Amali Sniper Unit, for 30 asset points and wreckage containing 300 units of fuel. In the second system, Nahula, there is wreckage of 250 units of fuel. And on the planet Haitiana, there is a war asset, the Cerise Guard, for 30 asset points. Third system, Fontes is uh, on the planet Oltan. There is a war asset, the Elcor Flotilla, for 40 asset points. And on the planet Dekuna, there is an artifact, the Code of the Ancients, which if you take it to the angry Elcor in the Purgatory Bar back on the Citadel, you get uh, a war asset, which is the uh, updated Citadel Defence Force with an additional. 40 asset points and 15,000 credits and there is also a wreckage of 175 units of fuel. The fourth system, Kaipaladon, on the planet Hanalai, uh, there is a war asset Dr. Jalice for 25 asset points and in the final system, Teolia, on the planet Nevos, there is an artifact, the Rings of Alun which you take to the consultant in Huerta Memorial Hospital. You again get a war asset of updated Citadel Defence Force, another additional 40 asset points and 15,000 credits. On a planet, Quiresia, 
there is a salvage item of 10,000 credits and then there is also a wreckage containing 375 units of fuel. This is the Shriek Abyssal which contains two planet systems uh, in Erla Rast on the planet Talisphere there is an artifact, the Prothean Obelisk which if you take to the diplomats in the Citadel embassies you receive 20,000 credits and there is wreckage of 300 units of fuel and in the second system, uh, Ji Sha on the planet Zardaban you can salvage 10,000 credits and there's also in the system a wreckage of 150 units of fuel. This is the Valhallen Threshold which contains three planet systems. Uh, in the first Rahil layer uh, there is a wreckage of 95 units of fuel. In the second system Paz there is on the planet Garvog an artifact, the Prothean data drives, which if you take to the soldier in the Normandy dock back on the Citadel, you get a war asset of the updated Alliance Engineering Corps for an additional 40 asset points and 15,000 credits. And there is also a wreckage of 160 units of fuel. And in the third system, Mika, on the planet Alohi, there is a war asset, the emergency fuel pods for 30 asset points. A wreckage containing 340 units of fuel. And on the planet Farlas, there is a war asset, uh, element zero converter for 50 asset points.